So the work at Portland's been going on for several years um, with some intensive uh, rugby and football academies which um, have been a very successful way of engaging and motivating some quite challenging and complex individuals. Quite strikingly a lot won't have had much involvement in sport before they come to prison um, and many have had quite disrupted and chaotic educational lives so the way in which we'll be able to use sport to embed learning um, with some of these prisoners is particularly important. Of most interest to me are the ways in which sport has increased the motivation for a lot of young prisoners to go on to further education um, and to try and seek employment and education in sports areas after they've been released from prison. I've got um, sports qualifications, industry recognised. Uh, I'm currently completing my level two of fitness instructing. Yeah, I've done level one uh, PE course, level two gym instructor. So hopefully when I leave here I should be able to go to a gym and get employed in a gym personal training on so level one and two with the gym and then I'm currently doing level three open learning. I've done level one gym instructor, I've done that course in here, um, that, we've also done um, fitness and nutrition as well, so that was a good course and also done level two leadership through football and then now I'm on the rugby, the rugby academy so that's, that's another good thing for me, yeah. So we've seen um, dramatic improvements in the way in which the people who take part are able to manage their emotions and particularly manage their anger and their violence. Um, and often these are individuals who have come to prison because they've been convicted of violent offences. Well, with the prison, it's not just them as rugby players, it's looking at their personal and social problems as well and addressing those using the rugby. So it's looking at... Um, players that have got behavioural problems and how we can adapt our coaching to suit them. We've had individuals who started it who are so-called rat bags in the prison service who no one else wants in their uh, you know, classroom or workshop. We've taken them on, they get to play football every day. Uh, we try and build in all the life skills around the football and the fitness. And, and they've, you know, they've turned themselves around, there's no two ways about it. Um, on, the, on the academies I've gone from segregation all the way up to enhance in a few months so it's helped me in discipline with the staff and calm me down. It teaches people that do not always have to be angry around people. We get involved with the govs so when we sort of get around and talk to people it's a lot more easier to speak to the govs and get on with them and they give us a bit of their time they don't need to be here but you know if they're doing it it's a great experience. So well, Me myself I'm an active person if I haven't got anything to channel my energy and aggression into I think I'd be a bit bored and uh, it's, good for, it's good for all around, isn't it? It's good for your mental health, your social skills. So it does, it improves a lot of things. As I'm from ADHD, I'm like, hyperactive and that, so normally if I'm in a car all day, like, I can get a bit, a bit impulsive and bored and that, and then that's when I start misbehaving and that. So when I start here, it's better because I get to run around and do things and like, keep my mind stimulated as well. So. And all of my work involves longitudinal tracking um, in terms of determining who goes on to reoffend or not reoffend. And although it's, we've only got data from the last year and two years to look at, so far our findings look very promising. Again, we want to do more. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, you know, in this current climate, we can't do that. We want to, but I think uh, again, it's, it's 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 integral to you know develop these uh, individuals. Well, I'd like to see it in every prison. I'd like to see some sort of rugby academy in every prison because I believe that we are we are changing the lads. You know how when we see them week one, they're completely different week one to week twelve. Um, we try and get as many of the lads as we can at local rugby clubs on their release. Um, a few of them we've managed to get jobs at Twickenham and everything as well. So we're believing we've got to change them as people as well as players. It's great. If I didn't have it, boy, I, I, will, I reckon I wouldn't get myself into trouble. I have more time on my hands. I mean, prison's the punishment. What we're doing while we're here is rehabilitating, trying to look at different avenues for when we get out. I've seen people who have the same problems as me. I'm going to be a better person after six months. So. It's led to getting um, a few qualifications and maybe carrying on the sport when I get out. I'm out in nine weeks, um, so yeah, hopefully this time next year I'll be a fitness instructor in a gym somewhere.